Hey, um, so I have a two part question for you. So you didn't kneel during the anthem, but you also didn't wear a Black Lives Matter shirt. Uh, do you believe that Black Lives Matter? Absolutely. I believe that Black Lives Matter. Um, a, lot, a lot went into my decision and, and part of it is first off, um, is, is, is my thought that you know kneeling or wearing a Black Lives Matter t-shirt um, don't go hand in hand with supporting Black Lives. And so um, I felt like just me personally um, and what it is that I believe in standing on the stance that um, I do believe that Black Lives Matter, but I, I just felt like it was the decision that I had to make and, and, and I, I didn't um, you know, feel like putting putting that shirt on and, and kneeling uh, one hand in hand with um, supporting Black Lives or that it, it made me support Black Lives or not. I believe that uh, for myself, my, my, my life has been supported um, through the gospel, Jesus Christ, and, and that everyone is made in the image of God and that we all fall short of God's glory. And that, uh, you know, each and every one of us, each and every day do things that we shouldn't do. We say things that we shouldn't say. You know, we hate and we, we dislike people that we shouldn't hate and dislike. Sometimes it gets into a point where we point fingers about whose evil is worse. And, and sometimes that comes down to simply whose evil is, is most visible. So um, I felt like I wanted to just take a stand on it. I feel like we all make mistakes, but I think that the gospel of Jesus Christ is that there's grace for us and that Jesus came and died for our sins. And that if we all will come to an understanding of that and understand that God wants to have a relationship with us, um, that we can get past skin color, we can get past all the things in our world that are messed up, jacked up. Um, I think when you look around, racism isn't the only thing that, that, that plagues our society, um, that plagues our nation, that plagues our world. And I feel like, you know, coming together on that message that we want to get past not only racism, but everything that that, 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 that plagues this other society. And I feel like the answer to it is, is the gospel. Hey, answer that. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, am I able to follow up with a quick one? Yes, please do. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so, Jonathan, I, I, I'm asking this with all sincerity. I just want to really understand your reasoning for that. Can you just explain further what you feel like religion has to do with kneeling for the anthem to protest against racism and police brutality? The correlation between those two? Well, I mean, honest, honestly, I don't, I don't really see it as religion for myself. Um, I see it as a relationship with, with God. Um, the son who died for our sins i feel like not only I, I don't i don't think that you know kneeling or um putting on a t-shirt for me personally is the answer i feel like um, for me black lives are supported through the gospel all lives are supported through the gospel that we all like i said have things that that that, that we do wrong and um sometimes it gets into a place of pointing fingers about which wrong is worse and, and who's wrong is seen so I feel like the Bible tells us that we're all we all fall short of the glory of the we all fall short of God's glory, and that at the end of the day, you know, whoever will humble themselves and, and see God and repent of their sins, that, that that we could see it in a different light, see our mistakes, see people's mistakes in a different light, or see people's evil in a different light, and that it would help bring us closer together and get past skin color, and get past anything that you know that's on the surface and doesn't really deal with the hearts of men and women. Thank you. Orlando Magic.com. Hey, J.I., from a basketball perspective, how did you feel out there? And, you know, for, for your team, um, you know, who hasn't played a, a game that's counted in four plus months to have two of their best offensive quarters of the season, uh, you know, how nice was that to see and what led to that offensive rhythm? You know, it felt, it felt great, you know, especially with the beginning of the season. Like you said, you know, we kind of struggled offensively and we kind of played with some. Our defense was great, but our offense wasn't so great, and it started to pick up as the season went on. So to pick up where we left off and you know, two great offensive quarters, and we kind of started to lag towards the end, but to kind of just see that we can make shots, and, and I feel like we can play with the best of them in this bubble and continue to take steps forward. But I felt good. My knee feels great, and I'm ready to take the next steps. Mike Bianchi, Orlando Sentinel. Yeah, Jonathan, uh, did you did you talk to your teammates about uh, your decision not to kneel and not to wear the T-shirt? And um, what was their response? And do you worry about any backlash because every other player has knelt during this uh, tournament so far? Well, I, I did talk to my teammates. We had a we had a team meeting. I told them that they, they know who I am as a man. They know who I am as a person. And they know what it is that I believe, and, and they respected me for the decision that I made. 
and it was all love. So they understood that for me personally, it's not coming from a position of wanting to be popular, or wanting to be seen, or wanting to be anything other than a, than, than a home of Jesus. And, and, and that's why I, you know, I stake my flag, and, and, and that's just how I felt. You know, and they respected me for it because they know who I am, they know my heart, and they know who I am as a teammate and a person. Dan, LA Times. Hi, Jonathan. Um, how difficult of a decision was this for you to make? Uh, did you lean on people in your lives? And uh, if you could just kind of share the, the process in, in, in making such a, a, what's clearly an important decision to you. Well, obviously understanding, um, you know, that this thing would, would obviously take it, take a, you know, kind of a role of its own. Um, I know people, you know, feel some type of way about the flag and it, could, it just go in a different, a different tangent. My, my, my purpose is in it. Um, really had nothing to do with the flag. Um, yeah, so it, I knew it was going to be a tough decision. I knew it was going to be something that people had a lot of questions for me and questioned my my, my, my heart and questioned my love and questioned my morality for, for not um, you know, wearing a t-shirt or taking a knee and questioned who I am as a man. So uh, I, I think, um, you know, I, I thought about it a lot. I leaned on um, God's word and his promises and, and I leaned on people in my life that my dad would just you know, be around me spiritually and, and protect me, and cover me. So, um, yes, yes, really. Trish, we have a couple here, okay? Yep, go ahead. Stephanie, ready? Yes. Thank you, Jonathan, for being so forthright and explaining your view. So, I just wanted to get just a bit more clarity because I, I understood exactly what you were saying. It's not about what you believe in. Um, it appear, do you feel like it trivializes what your personal sentiment is because it is being done in mass and it's just a gesture? Like you said, it's just a cotton t-shirt. Uh, does what trivialize? Not, does not wearing, wearing it? Right, correct. Um, yeah, I think I think anything is, you know, but people people have opinions and people have the way that they feel. And so um, obviously me not wearing it, people are gonna take it into a, you know, a million different places. Um, you know, like I said, that's, that's where I saw it for myself. It was just something that I, I didn't feel um, went hand in hand with supporting Black Lives, and and, and it's just the, the 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 means to an end. You know, we're we're protesting and, and we're doing things to, to to get something done, and and I'm I'm standing and, and not wanting to to get something done as well to get out of the realm of, of skin color, to get out of the realm of um, and, and and focus not not focus on but see all the things um, that we all do each and every day that that are right and. Um, come to an understanding that at the end of the day, the answer of it, the answer to it all, to all of our problems, to all of you know everything that, that goes on in our world is Jesus. Okay, and we got uh, Mark Spears from The Undefeated. That's uh, Jonathan there. Yeah. And that's still probably for decision. Uh, there certainly has suddenly been some right wing support, perhaps some anti-black support. Does that worry you at all? Or what, what are your thoughts on that on social media? Uh, I, I, I think that, um, you know, I, I, like I said, I think a lot of people um, have, a, have a stake in it with the flag. A lot of people have uh, a stake in it with the president. I think a lot of people, you know, have, have, have a stake in it with hating the flag or not hating or hating the president or whatever. Um, you know, I, I, I absolutely no shape, way or form condone racism. I'm black. I grew up black. I have a black little brother that, that, that lives in America. So I'm not, I'm not for racism. I don't think that me not kneeling you know, before the game when wearing a t-shirt makes me mean that at all. And that's a part of what went into my decision. And and you just also decided not to uh, wear a social justice message on your jersey. Yes, sir. Uh, what was the reason for that decision as well? Uh, I think this. I think the same thing. I think that um, you know, obviously there 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 are things in in our country that aren't right and, and people aren't right. Um, and it goes for every single one of us. Every single last one of us um, falls short of God's glory. And I think that, um, you know, I, I just I just wanted to take that stance and saying that I believe that Jesus is the answer. So I, I didn't think that when, uh, you know, a message on my, on my, on my back of my jersey was, was the answer for me. Great. Okay. okay, Trish, you can continue with uh, Mike, maybe. Okay, Mike Bianchi. Yeah, Jonathan, uh, your decision, did it have anything to do with, with uh, you, know, you know, the thought of patriotism? You, we always hear that. Did, 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 does the national anthem mean something more to you, or did that have anything to do with it? Uh, no, sir. Um, you know, the national anthem is a national anthem. I've been saying it since I was a kid. Um, 
you know, I, I chose to, in the midst of the of the national anthem playing, I was praying. Um, so I, I wasn't reciting it or anything like that. So there's 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 not a stake in it for me necessarily with the with um, the, the national anthem or the flag. You know, America is a country that I live in. Um, you know, I, I think that you know, like any country, America has its issues, it has its problems. But I'm, I'm grateful for um, the freedoms here and the freedom to play basketball and the freedom to do what it is that that I want to do and. And, and, and the ability to protest, to not protest, to, to, do, to do what you want to do. So um, that's pretty much where it goes for me. With, with the... Okay, our last one here, Roy Perry, Orlando Sentinel. Hey, Jonathan, I know that you've talked a lot about the work that you put in, in you know, in, in coming back and playing. I'm just wondering if, if you're a little bit surprised uh, at how well you played so far and, um, you know, I, I guess that's, yeah. Are you a little bit surprised about how you played so far? Uh, no, sir. I, I think just, you know, my mind was, was always set on coming back and, and you know, the, the coronavirus kind of <laughs> made it made it perfect. I think it's, it's like a movie. Um, you know, obviously, I hate everything that's happening with the coronavirus and people losing their lives, but basketball to come back and be being, you know, kind of right, ready um, to take my next steps with my knee. Um, I feel like I just stepped into the position and, and I've just been playing and just been playing my game and, and uh, you know, building more confidence in my leg, building more confidence in being out there with my teammates and just want to continue to do that.